Right, welcome back YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese. As always. I got some plays for you today out of the Raiders playbook. I got basically three one play touchdown plays. All can be found in the Raiders playbook. This is my new playbook. I really want to do a, uh, a full breakdown, an ebook, uh, you know, all that. I haven't done one of those in a while out of this playbook. It's that good. It's definitely deserving of my next breakdown. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm going to do it. I'll try to do a quick video here where I show you a one play touchdown that's all in this book that against cover two, cover three, and cover four. Um, so if you guys want to see this out of the Saints playbook, I also can do a video like that out of there. So hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you want me to do the Saints breakdown. Other than that, let's go let's get into it. Let's try to do a quick video here. We'll start off with cover two. Um, like I said, this is the playbook I'm using right now, so I know this playbook pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's out of the gun doubles Y flex. Maybe not. That's not the one. There it is, the gun spread. So this is one you've probably seen online quite a bit. Uh, but I'll start with cover two and I'll work my way back to cover four. The PA comebacks. Uh, this is the play I'm going to pick here at the bottom. We'll go ahead and we'll go random. Uh, we'll go, no, not random. Right. Well, we're going to pick Tampa two. Go ahead. We're going to move the ball back quite a bit because these are all going to be uh, big plays. So we'll go ahead and move back to here. This particular play is real simple. I mean, I can leave it just like it is. Um, these outside routes um, should really uh, should really pull back. I don't know if this guy's got the speed. <laughs> he didn't have the speed to get there, but uh, it was there. So we'll be able to try that again. But this is definitely a real. There's there's no real adjustments needed. All I got to do is get past the guy, and that catching animation is really screwing me over <laughs> with the jumping catch. As I got a touchdown though in the second place. So real simple. Probably should have put my fastest guy in the middle there. There's some dude named like Holton or something on here. He's like a burner. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this again. Lob it up there. You can see, I mean, that, that catch animation is almost getting me caught by the linebacker, but he's, he's gone. So real simple setup there. If you wanted to do anything as far as an adjustment, you could put Cooper here and uh, Crabtree here on these, uh, on uh, what they call it, fades to kind of pull the coverage away, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but you can see there's, um, you know, there's a throwing window. If I can catch and run that, he actually didn't get away with it that time. Uh, but uh, that's, that's an adjustment you can make. You can also put them on out routes and then smart route them. Uh, but it, it, it really anything that just pulls those safeties apart is really where it's at. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to finish this off. Here we go. It's real simple. I don't think the fade routes really worked as well because it pulled them back. So I guess the out routes work better. So we'll go ahead and move on to the cover three beater. The cover three beater that I like to use is out of the gun tight slot open. Now this particular player, like I said, I should probably keep putting my fastest dude. Mark Cooper's there, so that's fine. Uh, but it's the PA read. This actually works pretty good against cover four too, but we're going to keep this in the cover three vein. Um, so we're going to go with random, I'm not random, I keep saying random, it's not random. We're going to go with, uh, I don't want to go with the Bucks land. let's just go with a random cover three sky. This particular play, it's probably best to have as much room to the sideline as possible. You don't need to do this, but it's definitely helpful. So you can you can run this play just like this, where you just put uh, Crabtree on a zig. And I'll try to run it like that one time. But the issue is, this guy doesn't really hold the block down, and that's kind of like a huge issue. So it's really better to run it the second way I'm going to show you. Uh, where you basically put Blinch here on a swing right and then motion block Crabtree into this defensive end. Now there he didn't even hold the edge, but you basically got to get wide here and then you're going to go ahead, you're going to bullet pass it to the outside and you didn't quite get going. I didn't bullet pass it far enough. It's all good though. We'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Takes a little bit of labbing, but this one here is probably one of my favorite one play touchdowns that I'm running right now. So he's getting wide, so I got I to gotta race it back up in. And like I said, we're just going to bullet pass it outside as much as possible. And Crabtree's going for the one play TD. So let's see if we can time this motion block a little bit better. See there, he just kind of doesn't get it done, but that's okay. Just got to find a way to get that edge. So we're going to go to motion, motion, uh, not motion. <laughs> we're going to bullet pass outside and lead to the outside and boom. Easy, easy score right there. All right, so we'll run it one more time and then we'll move on. Just want to show a little consistency. Like I said, this is one of my more favorite one play TDs right now. Uh, there we get that that motion block that I want, and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna bomb it up outside, clear that corner, and we're gone. So let's go. Let's move on to the cover four beater. Cover four beater is real simple. There's no real adjustments. It's out of the single back Y trips, and it's the PA zone shot. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that. We're gonna go random, not random cover four. We're gonna go. Um, nickel or dime cover four. So this play right here is no adjustments. Once again, you just got to get that edge. The play action is not necessary. Um, I kept it. Nice block. That's what I need right there. So then we're going to get to the edge. Pass lead outside again. And he didn't catch and run because that was a bad throw. But you can see he was passed. So I'll go ahead and I'll do this again. Like I said, this play action is not necessary. You can cancel that pre-play. Get to the edge. 
pass lead outside. Another not so great pass, but you know what? He caught up to it. So real simple pitch and catch. The only real thing about this is you got to get wide of this pass rusher. And that's what's good about this play is you have a tight end there to, hold, to help hold out. And uh, there we go. We're just going to bomb it up. So that's it. One play touchdown against all three defenses, the most used defenses. Uh, the cover three beater should work pretty good against cover six and cover nine, if you guys are wondering. Uh, they're pretty popular now, too. Um, other than that, if you guys want to see more stuff out of the race, play big, do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.